Hello everyone, this is Eric Redjet505. So again, uh, we are looking at Barnstormers today. And you know, people was attacking me when I did the video about my airplane that I sold because aviation is getting a big ripoff. And I, you know, I really saw that I should do this video and show you guys what a ripoff is. And then you will maybe understand a little better that some of you guys are really stupid to keep uh, contributing to the FAA and for all the stupidity of other people. So, I want you to see uh, this post that we have over here uh, of an airplane that it's a light sport aircraft. Forget about it, that it's not a full airplane, it's a light sport, it's still an airplane. Uh, the price on it is uh, $40,000. You will say, wow, this is a great deal. Now. You need to read what these things say to understand how stupid it is and some idiot going to go and actually give this moron some money. So it said that um, it was unfortunately that this aircraft was involved in a, in a weather event in the, the certain airport that it is in the KFFZ and on a certain date and the tail was severely damaged. For those of you who don't understand damage, severe damage to the tail because the airplane did something will destroy the airplane so it's not that the rudder will break uh it will do the entire structure let's go to the pictures look at this beautiful airplane nothing wrong with it this is picture number one okay and you say oh uh nothing happened Ma, it is like there's a duct tape here on the back no 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 please pay attention my dear friends this is what you're getting for forty thousand dollar let's go over this is an airplane in an aircraft junkyard okay uh if you look on the background here you're gonna see shreds of airplane and you can see this losers here taking the picture here is the guy that's ripping off the people on this uh the glass is broken the frame uh is broken on this uh it seems to be the detail here have a big 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 cut and the rudder is completely broken. Now, this aircraft is a fiberglass, maybe with carbon fiber enforcement. It means that this fuselage is garbage, it's gone. It's never can get repaired. I'm a fiberglass and carbon person. It's never going to get repaired. You have to rebuild it. Now, you look at the wheels. The wheels over here, um, they kind of, you see that it's stuck actually with a, just a piece of rod going between of it and the cowling is off. Let's go to the next picture because it's only getting better. So the next picture is the picture of the weather damage, okay? So you can see that the aircraft here, let's zoom on this, because this is important. You can see how damaged the tail is, that the rudder uh, and stabilizer is all destroyed. Yeah, there's another one here on the back. It's probably $50,000 for that one. The propellers uh, is destroyed, and the aircraft is landing actually on the propeller. And the result of this is that actually the propeller is gone, it's broken, it's a lot of money to replace, and then the shaft of the airplane, there's no way in hell that this shaft over here is okay. It's not, it's not going to happen. The, the shaft is bent. I don't care who say what, it needs to get overall. Now, the wings. The wings are damaged because the airplane landed on those wings. So it's like, the, it's mean that those wings left and right, they usually have the adrials on them. They're not the flat wings. So it's mean that there is a broken spar on it. And again, this is a fiberglass wing. So again, this is not, this is garbage. Then when you keep going down a little bit, uh, they're showing you some of the electronics over here that, um, you know, it's used electronic, but it's very basic. There is two uh, nav system here and the, the radios, but you're not buying this for $40,000 without an airplane hook up to it. Now, here they're showing you the airplane to show if like nothing happened to the Rotex engine. So let's go back to this picture real quick. Okay, before I even look here, look at the back. So this is a place that's selling all those straps uh, of airplane uh, and whatever the other piece destroyed. It's literally like a garbage junkyard for aircrafts, okay? They're showing you the airplane, showing you this area like if nothing wrong with this picture. But after this thing being crashed, the propeller is broken. You know, the propeller is shred on those edges. So it's mean that the shaft right here, this area in the center, is all destroyed. Okay, so you can try to overhaul it. You can try to overhaul this Rodex engine for like about twenty to $30,000.
pay the mechanic to install it, another two to three thousand dollars, sign the paperwork, another five hundred dollars, and this is before you even fix the entire airplane that everything is destroyed. So, this is why I keep telling you guys that aviation is one big ripoff, especially here in the United States. Uh, people posting it is nothing wrong, and then let's go back to the posting because the guys say that uh, someone told him that uh, it can easily get repaired that the uh, airplane should be able to get repaired this airplane should never going to be able to get repaired this airplane is, is garbage even the electronics probably from the rear impact when it's flipped uh it will have a lot of damage now so let's we were talking about this i just want to show you example for something decent okay i know it's going to sound stupid to some of you guys and say oh yeah but it's experimental and it's a mini look at this this aircraft okay you can get a small biplane Okay, that fly pretty good. It have no damage whatsoever. If you know how to fly, and you can fly that. Okay, and this thing is going for ten thousand dollar, ready to fly. Okay, you can just get inside, start the airplane and fly it, and it's ten thousand dollar. If you don't believe me again, uh, there is here actually that uh, they want ten thousand uh, dollar, or actually doing a trade. This is why I'm saying that this aviation is going out of control. All the stupid people that are doing this. If you look at it, Piper Cherokees right now, uh, those airplanes going for about hundred thousand dollar. I sold mine for forty five thousand dollar with a brand new engine in it. People selling airplanes right now for almost hundred thousand dollar with engine that is two thousand three hundred and fifty six hour between overalls. It means that this engine is overdue. Yes, you can fly more than that, but like them in cylinders, no to break very l short time. Most of them getting messed up between uh, 1,200 hours. Some of them even at 600 hours developing crack on the exhaust valve. Okay? Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. And all you idiots think that you are smarter than me because you gone to school and you have some certificate. Say that you read the book good and you could answer a couple questions. I'm doing it since I was 16. I'm 48 now. I know what I'm doing. All those mechanics that say, oh, yeah, I can fix this. And you cannot fix this. Fiberglass, when it's cracked through the line of it, the amount of weight that you're going to add, on, add onto this tail to fix it will make this uh, airplane out of its weight category for actually flying to be a, a light spot. By the way, just, just throwing it at you guys. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. I have videos about everything. This is my opinion. I'm actually pretty good. People that listen to me end up saving a lot of money. So please pay attention. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.